Oh no, no, no! But uh, before before we get into that, I'm gonna, I really I'm, want to talk I'm gonna about give them what they want, which is some kind of commentary on the state of my existence and why we missed last week, etc. You missed last week. I didn't do, yeah, I missed a Tuesday show for once. Oh, yeah. Well, for twice. Canceled everything I think that was, was going good in my life. Maybe the second time that that's ever happened. Um, but, yeah, there's been a lot of uh, hoopla going on, I guess you could call it. To say the least. To say the least. And <laughs> the first thing that I'm going to, maybe less laughing. Um, the first thing that I'm going to comment on is just in terms of the allegation stuff, the stuff from 2018 that just keeps getting brought up and everybody wants to make content about it and everybody wants to fucking just get into it. I don't really have anything new to add. You know, I had a conversation with Ak in 20, 2018. Let's not forget Vlad. I had a Vlad interview clip. I had a, uh, I talked to Joe Budden about it the other day. It's just, I don't have anything more to add. You know, people just want to keep bringing up shit. There's all kinds of fake shit going around. I'm just not really trying to respond to any of it. If anything, the last couple of weeks of my life, like, I'm not going to lie, there was a moment where I kind of just, like, zoomed out a little bit, and I was like, you know, you don't have to do this. Like, you don't have to put your whole fucking life on camera. You don't have to, you know, constantly be making content. You know, and I kind of, like, did the math in my head, and it's like, well... You know, if I really, like, didn't do shit for the next month or the next couple months, I'd be all right. I might have to, you know, fire a lot of people because they wouldn't have anything to do. But, you know, I would be all right. We would have made a crack right here without you, I promise. That is debatable. But <laughs> 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 you guys might I, – you, I feel like you, you might need a little bit longer of, like, an intro to the audience, you know, before we could fully be like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to take off for two months, whatever. <laughs> But you know, like you, you gotta been selling chicken sandwiches. That's who's hating on us right now. You were killing it on the news, right? No, you guys are doing great with the news and everything for sure. But <laughs> it's it's just like you know, it's kind of like I'm I'm just kind of doing the math in my head. It's like, would you rather make X amount of dollars and have like a totally chill, easy, simple life, or would you rather make X amount of dollars and have your life be like infinitely more complex and complicated and constantly have shit going on? And my my whole thing. And the reason why I'm still here and I'm still doing this content is because, <laughs> A, I have a bunch of people around me right here who are extremely supportive during this time period. I kind of appreciate you calling me and giving me a pep talk and letting me know that you have a lot of people that you want to interview and content you want to do and everything. <laughs> that sounded hella insensitive. Like, I just hit you up to produce content. Okay. Well, <laughs> you, you can clarify <laughs> if you want. But, yeah. No, it's not, it wasn't a completely, like, content-driven conversation. But, you know, with you, with Court and Remo just moving out here and stuff, it's like, I still have a vision for what I want to do with this brand and what we can do on camera and stuff. And it's like, I don't think that we need to really like continue to do a lot of the same stuff that we've been doing for the past couple of years in terms of really just kind of antagonizing beef and making everything about conflict and stuff. And like, obviously there's going to be stuff that we talk about when it comes to, uh, you know, celebrities and, and public shit. But in terms of like us, I personally am just looking at this like I need total unity between the staff and I need for anything outside of that to be playing out off camera. Like if you guys have problems with each other, if I have problems with you guys, I feel like we need to like really be kind of committed to to letting that shit play out off camera. So and, just scrap in the parking lot instead of in here? Well, maybe not scrap, maybe talk. You know, I think we'd probably get most That's of it done. That's a good done. first step, right? Yeah, talking and stuff. But I'm just like... I'm just at a point in my life where it's like I've seen what it's like to run a crazy, um, you know, soap opera here for the last couple of years. And, you know, some, a lot, plenty of that blame goes on me. Some of it goes on other people, whatever. But I'm just not interested in it anymore. And I feel like at this point, if that's what it continued to be, I would probably just be like, okay, I'm going to just – I'm just going to say fuck this and just, you know, kind of do my own thing maybe. But, for you know, I feel like there's still something that we could build that is going to be dope and that I just don't think it needs to necessarily – like I had this realization that I'm going to be really, really happy to take a dip in views because I feel like at a certain point – our views were kind of like artificially inflated by the fact that there was so much conflict and drama, you know? And it's like, if this podcast gets 100,000 views instead of 200 or 300,000 views, I'm just totally okay with that if it feels like something sustainable and enjoyable and fun and laid back. And that's why I think stuff like us going to the movies and seeing the cocaine bear 
that that appeals to me because I listen to a lot of fucking podcasts and the vast majority of them don't really like feel the need to dig into the personal lives of the people on the show. And that's something that <clears throat> at a certain point just became like unbelievably normal on here. <laughs> And I'm just done with it. I'm just like, you know. I'm, it was I'm a just, lit time. It was fun. And I got to see what that was really like. And I got to see what it was like when it started to impact my private life and my <laughs> sanity and stuff. But, I mean, I like, for the last 10, 12 days, whatever, I've been just, like, hanging out with my kid, going for walks, wa- like, you know, actually having time to, like, watch shit on YouTube that I'm not, like fucking watching because i have to immediately talk about it after on camera or because i immediately have to fucking do an interview about that thing you know and it's just for me it's like my own personal happiness just really kind of needs to be at the forefront of things it became paramount finally or what it just yeah (laughs) because i feel like and that's the kind of whole thing is like i tried to like kind of make some small changes in terms of how the podcast looked and as a result the whole thing kind of blew up Long story short, and that's okay for me because it's like as much as I'm going to miss those guys, and I think those guys are super talented, it just at a certain point was kind of becoming uncontrollable, unsustainable. Yeah, your personal life is now paramount to you. Well, I would like to treat it that way. I just like I listen to so many podcasts and I like just don't see them doing the whole drama thing. And it seems like a lot of people, like especially the comedian podcasts I listen to and stuff, that they just seem like they're able to get on camera have a fun conversation for an hour or two and then they go back to their lives and there's not this like thing where it has to be about their lives. When did the drama start with everybody, really? Was Eh. it Lushies? No, no. It's just been like a slow, gradual thing. And I'm not trying to do like a whole full post-mortem on (laughs) how No Jumper became what it kind of became at a certain point. I'm just acknowledging that like I don't really give a fuck if it hurts our views or if people are like less entertained or whatever, it's like, I feel like we can build something that's much more of just like a, a chill hangout with the guys, you know? And I don't really like, I mean, I know you listen to like a million fucking comedy podcasts and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. I just think there's a different direction that I'm more than happy to take things in. Also, I don't know if this cast is, I mean, it seems pretty clear the courts part of it, but in terms of you guys, we're just throwing paint at the wall, seeing we're, what that's happens. Why we're separated on the other couch and went on a single chair. Well, if you guys all wanted to sit on Court's lap, that would have been a little different. But, you know, I'm just trying to sort of figure it out and try to like actually get myself into a state of mind or a state of being where I like doing this content and where it doesn't feel like a headache. I feel like I've kind of like seen a version of myself over the last like few months at times. Where I'm like, you don't seem like you were having the best time on camera. Like you, you, you kind of were just, you know, like and where you were I, just here. Or where what? I see it with the audience too, where they will be like, oh, you, you seem negative or you whatever. And I'm like, kind of looking at it, like, yeah, you have a point. There's definitely some of that going on here. You're and definitely I, not gambling during the pod, so that's a plus, right? That's only on the live stream. Oh, I the see. music stream <laughs> because that shit gobbles up like a huge percentage of my brain. <laughs> like even playing one tournament right now would be really difficult. And I will never admit the one interview that I did while I had the laptop under the desk and I was playing a tournament. Oh, shit. They're like, why is Adam looking down so much? No, nobody caught it. And that's why I'm never going to rap. 